So after we've added our WinP images, we're going to go ahead and create a task sequence. First, we're going to create a standard deployment task sequence, and that one we're going to after enable branch cache for. So let's create a new pristine test sequence default. Uh, select our boot image. So we'll select the 64 um, branch cache enabled WinP image. We select a Windows installer package or a WIM image installer package. Make sure you select the image because that will then enable it to add the UEFI support. We select which domain to put it into. And then basically we select which workstation OU. Putting it in the right workstation OU is of course important because we want the GPO to enable the branch cache GPOs. The commands that run in WinP of course enables branch cache as a part of the sequence for the machine before the GPOs will apply. But of course on the more frequent running set we want to um, have that enabled. So we're just going to select default values here and make sure that we get the updates as well. It's the, the purpose of this is just to make sure that people understand the concept of adding in the different steps within uh, the different part of the sequence. So once we got our default task sequence that we're going to modify, we're going to open it up and see that's typically a very standard default one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our download zip folder for the branch cache for OSD toolkit. In the samples folder there is a folder structure and a zip file which basically imports a task sequence with some template um, actions and a task sequence it also adds a package for some of the toolkit tools so we're going to go ahead import this task sequence point out the full unc path to it key thing is also to keep in mind that it will keep the folder structure from that url if you didn't it adds one package and that's source file. You can of course move that later on if you want to have a different source file for it. So keep in mind that this task sequence that we've added in is not the one that we deploy. And you can see there's the package that we've added in. It's basically contains one of the tools, which is the alternative download uh, tool for Windows Pro and Enterprise machines to use bits rather than the standard full task sequence download engine. So here you can see the actual source path. If you want to move it around, you can do that. And here's the big bits pro download tool. And the release 1.0 of the branch catch OT kit, all of the five versions are 1.002. So that will of course change with upcoming new releases. So it's good to keep track of the versions. So let's move over the standard task sequence here to the right and put the sample actions to the right. And so left one is the default one and the right one are our standard branch cache for OSD actions. So we're gonna drag our actions across from the right to the left into the right positions of where they're gonna be. So for instance in here you can see where the different actions reboots to WinP. So let's start with moving over the cache controller. So we'll copy that one and then we we'll paste it in up there. It's a bit of a copy and paste operations to move everything around, but basically the cache controller section contains a variable that allows us to pre-cache this data and it needs to be in the root folder so make sure that everything is underneath that one this allows us to distribute this package to a collection that has a collection variable that will then make sure that it doesn't run anything in the actual task sequence it just downloads every single package then you can see we've got some other actions here uh, that have been copied over and uh, basically what they do is that they enable the alternative content provider to use our download engine instead of the default one so we're going to use the same one for both professional and enterprise and their step here to check the downloader is to make sure that we use the latest downloader and that so if you have an updated one you can put that in the package you don't need to update your web images etc and also if you haven't distributed the package to your target machines, it will get it from the task sequence itself. Then we add in the step to enable the branch cache components in WinP. We make sure that we run that after we partition the drive because we don't want to repartition the location where we keep the branch cache caching options. And uh, then we have the smooth command, which is basically the last command before uh, rebooting. We can run one after that, which is to 
check that we have the downloader in the target OS as well. So if you haven't included the new updated installer into your boot image or in your master image, that will basically uh, be copied into the destination. After that, we're pretty much uh, set to go. Um, make sure that uh, everything looks the same. You can see that we're using the variables to detect which locations we want to put everything in. All of the different actions has um, the right paths, and also they have to the options and the conditions to only run in WinP. And here you can see the different paths, etc. So that's. Uh, pretty much it and of course one we're in the full OS uh, these different actions can run uh, as much as they want and use they will still use the new alternative content provider downloader if you want to so I'm gonna click OK and uh, basically leave that and that kind of sums it up it's not more complicated than that to use the default ones and they're, they're of course documented as well so that's it thank you